Callie, thank you for joining me today. Um, let's get to know you a little bit more. So the, the Islanders drafted you in the second round of the 2022 draft. Uh, were you expecting that they were going to draft you? Like, I know when I spoke to other prospects, they're like, yeah, I had a pretty good idea based off the interactions we had. Is that, did you get the same sense? Uh, no, uh, I had a, a little bit of a feeling that, uh, that it could happen, but uh, I had some, some more teams that I talked, uh, talked more to than uh, the Islanders. So uh, I was uh, a little bit shocked, but, uh, uh, but at the same time, I've, I've had a feeling uh, that, that it could happen. So uh, yeah, both a little bit shocked, but uh, at the same time, not so. So no. yeah. Yeah. They, they do well dra- developing the defensive players. You look at their blue line right now, it's all a bunch of guys that, that came through the system type thing. So yeah. that, that, does that kind of like give you a sense of like, all right, cool. Like that was a bit of a shock by the Islanders, but like I'm going to a place that knows how to develop defensemen into NHL guys. So like that, that's a bonus, I assume. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what I've heard uh, from, from my agent and, and the people around me is that uh, Islanders are a really good organization. And as you said, they have, have really good defensemen. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to, to start the journey uh, to the NHL. Beauty. So I love asking the, these draft interview questions. Um, when I usually ask people like, what's the, the weirdest thing you got? I'm not going to ask you that necessarily. A lot of people go like the Islanders because they give, they give like two hour math qu- quiz at some point. Yeah. Did you have yeah. to go through that as well? Yeah, I had to go, go through that as well. Uh, so that was a little bit hard, but uh, yeah, it's fun time. Uh, you know, you you're you're only getting drafted uh, once, so uh, that's just the things you you gotta do. And uh, and yeah, it was pretty fun. So, so what was the one of the tougher interview questions you got? Like, not not considering a two hour math interview, because that would that would obviously be tough, no matter who you are. Um, yeah. But like some of the guys that that I've spoken to, they get these questions of like what kind of animal are you? And while that sounds like a really dumb question and it kind of is, it could be kind of tough because you're sitting there going like, well, what do they want to hear type of thing? Is yeah. there any kind of like tough questions like that that you received from anyone during the whole draft process? Yeah, actually at, uh, at the combine in Buffalo, I had a meeting with the uh, Montreal Canadiens and yeah. uh, they asked me about uh, what, am, what animal I, I am uh, on and off the ice. Uh, and then they also asked me if I would pick up a ten dollar. Oh, the uh, toilet question. Yeah, exactly. Or if I would, uh, uh, yeah, you know the question, but uh, yeah, I would can't you uh, take ten dollars from the top of a toilet or in the bowl of the toilet type thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so yeah, that cool. was uh, a pretty interesting question. It sounds like they're recycling the same questions every year. And I don't know if yeah, that's necessarily so. helping them. So yeah, good job by them. Um, okay. So we'll move away from, from the whole draft process outside of the fact that it happening was amazing, obviously. Um, yeah. Did you think it was going to happen in, in the second round? Cause it was obviously the last pick of the second round, but did you think you'd be going in the second or, or maybe more into the third? Mm. Hard to say, but uh, my 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 feeling was to go was to was the late 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 first round. Uh, oh, that wow. was the, yeah, that was was uh, what my agents told me too. Uh, they heard like nothing but the late late first round. Uh, so actually, they were like, uh, we give it we give it five picks uh, on second on the on the second day, and then. Then we leave if you're not picked. So I was kind of kind of shocked that I dropped uh, uh, that uh, that much. But uh, oh. uh, yeah, but uh, I mean, it's not bad to to end up in the second round. So yeah. uh, I'm happy uh, now. In uh, now, when I'm thinking after, uh, I'm pretty happy that that I dropped uh, to too late second round. Uh, to to get to islanders and uh, their organization so yeah excellent um so thinking of of you as a player and and specifically your game what type of game do you play all we hear is like this kid is a hell of a skater how would you define your game 
And do you mold your game after anyone specifically? Is there one guy like growing up, you go, I want to be like him or even now, like I want to be like this guy, not to say I will be him, but I'm going to take elements of that guy's game and make it my own. Is there something like yeah. that going on for you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. First off, I think I'm a good skating two-way defenseman uh, yeah. who, who can set, set up my uh, teammates for, for good scoring ch- chances and uh, yeah. So I think I'm a good good passing and uh, skating to a defenseman. Uh, and then I try to I, I look a lot on uh, like Devon Taves. I know he was in Islanders a few mm-hmm. years ago. Yeah, and uh, Shea Theodore. So that's that's two guys I I really like to look uh, to look at and uh, take some take some uh, what do you say like uh, take some tips from them. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, Islanders fans are still kind of it. Devin Tays, just the name, is a very contentious issue for Islanders. Now, everyone believes he was a, he's a great player, and he is. It's just losing him the way they did is is a hot topic, if you will, within Islanders yeah. fandom. But uh, hell of a player, hell of a player. Yeah. So, what what is your hockey story, if you will? When when did you like start playing? Have you always played defense? um did do you and your brother because you have a younger brother right who plays yeah for, i believe for for brunus yeah um do you guys kind of push each other is, is that kind of like the complete you know cali auto this hockey story or, or is there a little bit more to it mm, yeah i think i i began to play hockey when i was like yeah, four years old so uh, i i started very early uh I think like uh, when I was three, I, I was on skates for the first time. Uh, my dad played hockey, so I, I think it, it uh, came kind of uh, natural that I was going to play hockey too. Uh, and as I said, my dad played hockey and he was also a defenseman. So uh, he put me on defense and then I, I just, uh, yeah, fell in love with the, with the defense. So uh and I think it's a good good way. I like to to produce offense too. So taking care of the D zone first, and then join the rush and playing the offensive zone. I think it's a uh, really really fun. Uh, yeah. So, and yeah, as you said, with my brother, uh, he's also really good. So uh, we're pushing each other with like yeah, on and off the ice. You know, we have a uh, what do you say? Uh, shoot, we have a goal here at home. Uh, so we always standing and shooting pucks and uh, do do some uh, uh, like target practice say? or something. Yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, we're really competitive with each other. So yeah, I think that that helped me a lot uh, to have to have a younger brother that can push me, and I also push it push him. So yeah. Yeah, I know it. It's like, well, maybe not to the same degree. Like I have a younger brother, and we kind of push each other as well. Very competitive yeah. people, but like our skill sets are not the same as yours. We're not getting drafted to the NHL. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe we didn't push each other hard enough, I suppose. No. <laughs> um, so this year has already gone pretty well for you, I would imagine. Like if you went through the goals of your year leading up till now, I would imagine getting drafted would, was one of them. And yeah. maybe not a direct goal, but signing an, signing an NHL contract was probably yeah. another one. And you've already done both. Um, it is, was that kind of like the goal for you leading up to the, the summer? Like, I want to be drafted and I want to be signed. You, you're probably going to get drafted, but getting signed was another one. Was that also another kind of surprise for you, getting that done so early? Uh, yeah, uh, of course. I uh, think that uh, when I dropped uh, to the second round of the draft, I, think, I thought that my chances to sign an NHL contract uh, already this this year would be, would be hard. Uh, but... Uh, then my agent called me and asked me if I was ready to sign my first NHL contract. And I just, uh, I just said to him, uh, I wonder if he was joking or something, <laughs> uh, but he was, he was dead serious. So yeah, uh, it was, it was a dream come true to sign my first NHL contract, uh, especially with Islanders. So yeah, that was a huge moment for me. So knowing that you're drafted in the second round, you're now under contract with the Islanders. Every Islanders fan is going to want me to ask you, are you still under contract with, I, I may pronounce this incorrectly with you garden. Um, yeah. are, are you still under contract with them for X number of years or, or is that still kind of, are you a f- basically free agent at this moment? Uh, no, I have a contract with Jorgen uh, for two years. Uh, 
So I have this year with Jurgen and, and then the season after. Uh, but uh, yeah, the plan is uh, to to be to play in Jurgen this year, and uh, after that the next season I think uh, uh, I will come over and uh, yeah uh, make make it a uh, what do you say uh, and try to make the team uh, or play in the AHL. So yeah, love it. Yeah, that's good to see. So this then considering those goals were met, the draft and then the contract were met, what are your now your goals? Because you're, you're staying there in Sweden with, with your gardens. Uh, you're playing in the Allison Scons right this year. Yeah. Um, what, are the, what are the goals for you uh, in terms of just like your development, your growth, things you're maybe working on or what you hope to achieve by the end of the year? And you don't have to be like, I want to win a trophy because everyone's going to say that obviously. Yeah. But like, just kind of like for you, what are, what are you focused on for you this year? Uh, no, the, the the main goal uh, the main goals this season is to is to develop as much as I can, uh, like be stronger in the D zone, uh, be stronger uh, uh, on the whole ice. Uh, you know, really try try to don dominate uh, the game out there. Uh, and then also uh, we got relegated to the Allsvenskan this year, so. Uh, of course, you have the ultimate goal this season to take Jurgen up to the CHL again. But for myself, it's it's just to develop and take taking care of every day and do the best out of it. So yeah, love it. Okay, I'll end it on, on something a little bit more fun. Um, we always like to know what what you're called on the ice. What's your nickname on the ice? Like when we talk about like uh, Atoratu, for example, he was like they call yeah. me the Rat, even though like I don't kind of yeah. I don't think he necessarily likes it so much, but for you, do you have a the nickname on the ice? Is, is it just Cali Cal kind of thing, or, or is it something a little bit more fun than that? Uh, no, it's actually uh, my my friends uh, call me Oda. Oga. Oda. Oda. Okay, what is that? What is that exactly? Is it that a name for something? I don't know. Or? It's like my my last name. It's O D. Uh, so they call me Oda, and then they call me Ude as well. And is that just another play on your last name type thing or? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, all right. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, yeah. Callie, that's all I've got for you. Um, thank you for taking the time out of your day and coming, you know, doing this with me for a good 10, 15 minutes. I, I really, really appreciate it. And we'll yeah, definitely keep you. in touch during the year. Yeah, we will. So good luck. Thank you very much. And uh, congratulations on getting drafted and getting signed, buddy. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You. Take care.